Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Ramadan Mubarak to you and to your families. Inshallah, we will start by talking about why Ramadan is so incredibly special. Alhamdulillah, we are now in the month of Ramadan. Ramadan has arrived and we are all feeling so much joy and happiness to be in this month, alhamdulillah. So the first thing that makes Ramadan really special is that it is the month of of Quran. Have you ever wondered why Ramadan is called the month of the Quran, Shahrul Quran? Well, we know that the Quran was actually revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Ramadan. And that's why in Ramadan, the Muslims will spend more time reading the Quran, reading the tafsir, and putting the effort to read it at least one time in its entirety. Something called a khitmah. So a khitmah is when you read the entire Quran in Ramadan. And that is why we put a lot of focus on the Qur'an in Ramadan. It is because it's an opportunity for us to connect with the Qur'an, and not just through reading and recitation, also through tafakkur, thinking about the ayat, reading the tafsir, having a deeper connection with the Qur'an. So that's the first thing that makes Ramadan special. The other thing that I want to share with you is about our ajr in Ramadan. So if you've ever played a video game, you might have collected something called a multiplier. A multiplier is something that you can collect. And when you collect points, instead of getting one point, one point will equal 10 points. Ramadan is the same. So if you do a good deed in Ramadan, it will be as if you have done multiple good deeds. And the ajr can be multiplied seven times. It can be multiplied even more God willing. So this is an opportunity to collect those points. And the good deeds are vast. It's not just prayer and dua and dhikr. If you smile to your brother or sister, that's a good deed, and it's multiplied in Ramadan. If you give sadaqah, if you help out a Muslim in need, all of those things, if you do them in Ramadan, your ajr will be multiplied, subhanAllah. The third thing that's really special about Ramadan is there is a very, very special night. Do you know what that night is called? It is called Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. So there's a night called the Night of Destiny. Qadr means destiny. This night occurs in Ramadan. Who knows which nights it occurs in? Yes, the last 10 nights of Ramadan. We actually don't know exactly which night in the last 10 nights. And that is to encourage us to work hard in those last 10 nights to be able to pray and make dua in that night. Why is that night special? So Laylatul Qadr is a night where the Quran was actually revealed. In that night, everybody's rizq, the provisions for everybody for the next year is also written and it is better than a thousand months. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. So if you pray one prayer in Laylatul Qadr, it is as if you prayed for one a thousand months. Now, if you do the math, that is 83 years, subhanAllah, 83 years. So it must be everybody's intention to try and worship Allah in that night. And that requires that we stay up. We stay up later. We do something called Qiyam, which is the nightly prayer. And we make a lot of dua. Why? Because remember when I told you your qadr is written in that night for the next year? So everything that you will gain in the year after is written. So when you make dua, you make dua for the blessings of Allah for the coming year. That is a very special night. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the pleasure and the blessing of being able to pray and make dua and do dhikr in that night, inshallah. The last thing that happens and that makes Ramadan very special, something changes in the world in Ramadan. And that is that the gates of heaven are open and the gates of hell are closed. 
Now, this is something that we actually experience, subhanAllah. Have you ever felt something special when Ramadan comes in, that, that time when Ramadan comes in? Do you feel a sense of peace and tranquility? And when the month ends, you feel the sadness because that peace and tranquility shifts. This is because the gates of hell are closed, the gates of heaven are open, and subhanAllah, the angels descend, and the shaitan is locked up. Yes. So those are changes that are actually happening in the world. We might not see them, but we know they are true and we feel them in our soul, in our spirit. Yes. So these things make Ramadan really special. Alhamdulillah. And this is an opportunity for us to be aware of those special things right now in the beginning of the month so we can make the most out of it, inshallah. So having shared this with you, I hope this was beneficial. And inshallah, I will see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.